Here we're going to find the maximum or the minimum of this quadratic by completing the square. So to start, we see that the x squared term has a coefficient of 2. We want to factor that out of the first two terms only. So we get x squared minus 10x in the brackets, and we leave that minus 48 outside of the brackets. Then to find out what we're going to add and subtract uh, from the equation in order to manipulate this into a perfect square, we're going to take that coefficient of the x term and divide it by 2, then square it. This gives us 25. So we're going to go back to the equation here x squared minus 10x. We're going to add 25 and then subtract the 25. And don't forget about the minus 48 outside of the brackets. So now we have this simple trinomial in the middle here that is a perfect square. So when we factor that, our factor is going to be x minus 5 um, squared. That means that this minus 25 we're going to bring outside of the brackets. But to do that, it has to be multiplied with the 2 first. So when it comes outside of the brackets, it will be minus 50, then minus 48. Now we want to combine the two like terms to get minus 98. Now the equation is in vertex form, and we can read the vertex of this parabola right from this equation. It will be 5 and negative 98. And since the a value of the original quadratic equation is positive, we know that this parabola is opening up which means we have a minimum value at negative 98.